Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> the topic is cone beam, but let's go a little bit beyond the basics. In the line of my work, I'm a dentist, radiologist, and I run a center of radiology and at the Lebanese University in the, the department. I'm often uh, seeing cases of implant placement before and after. And sometimes I ask myself, why did they put this number of implants, this locations of implants? Why did they took this decision even on simple cases, one implant placement, you can see the positioning of these implants and we all know that the proper implant planning is the first priority for the implant success. And in these cases, I'm sure that we will have complications. And over here also, we placed implants that we are not going to use. And then in this implant treatment planning, dental imaging and especially CBCT is an important tool for the assessment of the bone architecture and to evaluate the bone support to the recipient side of the dental implants. My question for today, how much do we know about CBCT? Beyond the basics. We know all our basics. First element, for example, in the basics, we all know that we have now many, many different CBCT devices, more than 85 in the literature. 